Shalom. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Wakasayim, Waparakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings unto all of you, Akim, that are pushing this truth wherever, wherever you may be scattered. I write unto the elders, unto the apostles, I write unto all the Akim, the speckled birds. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists, that he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of the so-called African Americans, Blacks, Negroes, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Mexicans, Cubans, Dominicans, okay, so forth and so on. But we actually make up the lost 12 tribes of Israel, and we have biblical tribal names from Judah to Issachar. So-called white men, they're not white, they're red. They are the Idumeans, according to the Holy Bible, and they are the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed, and we know that Jacob's name was turned into Israel okay so I want to do a lesson on this article all right and I pray that this be uh, very edifying and informative all right this is from shareheadthefanplan.com all right and as you can see it says should we be bracing ourselves for the beginning of sorrows okay and and, and, and if you well according to the scriptures right and in, in, in the Holy Bible in the uh, in the second address the ninth chapter okay you can also find this in the uh, apocrypha okay or if you have a 1611 kjv you can find the book of second address there okay but in the book of second address which i'm going to read it it speaks about measuring the time okay this is second address nine and one he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently and itself and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is getting ready to visit the world. All right, he's getting ready to cast down the wicked and to deliver up the righteous, to call up the righteous unto deliverance. Okay, now if you're measuring the times, then yes, you will understand that we are in the beginning of sorrows. Now, what do you use to measure the, the times, the signs, the prophecies that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai gave unto his disciples, all right, the apostles, the prophets, okay? If things are so wonderful, then why do so many people feel a deep sense of unease about what is ahead? I think the reason why our society is so obsessed with apocalyptic movies and television shows is because most of us realize on some level that we're living in an apocalyptic generation that's right you can go to hulu you can go to amazon prime you can go to netflix they're all you can go to hbo max they're all full of uh these apocalyptic shows and movies such as iron legend such as 28 days later such as 28 weeks later right was actually let me show you an image that i thought was very interesting because i was actually watching that movie you know it's, it's my first time watching i've been wanting to watch it for a hot minute now but i finally was able to catch it last night you know i actually tried to watch it earlier this year around the passover with the brothers but i ended up falling asleep so i'm gonna show you an image that i uh that i got from that movie that's very spiritual okay yeah so this is from the movie uh 28 days later you know it was a very spiritual movie you know very beautiful okay and a lot of things that are going on in the movie you know, through the spirit, you know, if it's Lord's will, I, I can see it playing out, you know, with the whole, which I'm not going to say it, you know, because I don't want to get the video flagged or the channel struck, okay, which that's a, which that's a whole another lesson, you know, but anyway, it says, repent, the, the end is extremely, all right, fucking nigh, excuse my French, <laughs> and that, and that's the, if you're measuring the times, then this, you would have this sense of urgency, in your spirit okay that that you need to repent right repent means to turn back to, to feel sorry to regret all right the sins that you have committed in your flesh and to stop doing them okay and to acknowledge your how about shemel shash your power and to worship him and to rebuke this flesh and get more 
tap more into the spirit. Okay, because we're in the last seconds of the last days, you know. When Yahweh Shai came on the scene and got on the cross, that was that was the last days. Okay, and a thousand years is only one most side, so about roughly two thousand years ago. It's only been two days. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we're in the last seconds of the last days. Okay. And I also want to break this down because it, it says an apocalyptic generation well the apocalypse means this is from the online etymology dictionary it says revelation this disclosure all right from latin apocalypse uh revelation from greek apocalyptine uncover this close to reveal now what's being revealed the real name of the heavenly father is yahweh which means to exist the real name of the son yahweh shah which means he delivers who the israelites are who the Idumians are, who the heathen nations are, all right, what the MOTB is, okay, everything is being revealed right now, man, okay, about the so-called uh, UFOs, that's being revealed, so we're definitely in an apocalyptic generation, call all you about Shem Yahushai, as I have been documenting in my articles over the last several months, the clock is ticking for humanity, okay, if we continue to do things the way that we have been doing them, our society will inev inevitably collapse, and that's what's going to happen. There will be an economic collapse. The social structure of this country is going to collapse. Okay, excuse me. going to be a complete uh collapse of the food you know the uh supermarkets okay the food supply chain okay everything you think about is going to collapse man all right from the infrastructure the power grid <laughs> all right even now virtually all our systems are exhibiting signs of failure and yet most of us continue to live our lives as if the party would never end but it will end and deep inside most of us know this so how close are we at this point See, the spirit nearly 2,000 years ago, which I'm not going to say that name. I'm going to say Yahweh Shai, because that's the true Hebrew name, or Lashawan Kadash, the holy tongue. Okay, some of the things that we should expect to see as conditions turn apocalyptic. Okay, and, 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 and from him posting the scripture, which is from the book of Matthew 24. Okay, you can also read it in what Mark 13, Luke 21. Okay, and you shall hear of wars. And rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name sake. So. We're already in the beginning of sorrows. We're already in the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble. But this is going to uh, domino effect into the persecution. Okay, and we see how they're using guys like, you know, vocab and Grandmaster Flashbang. You know, we see how they're using guys to help demonize us and persecute us. And also all of these false flag events that go, you know, go back to the whole Jersey thing. You no know, different things that they have been doing. Okay, I believe about maybe what two years ago there was a sign that said Yahweh Shai somewhere in Los Angeles and they tied it with you know anti Semitic, you know. So it's a lot of things happening through the spirit, man. Just to go to show you that we are living in the book of Revelation, which Revelation means to reveal or to pull back the veil. All right, so what's being revealed? The mysteries. All right, the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has his men out there constantly revealing the mysteries. You know, and, 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 and now, uh, also, that's going to be a famine of the word, too. You know, because um, my channel got struck two weeks ago. I just got off the strike last night, and I had some videos on my, uh, actually, since I'm speaking about it, let me just show you. Let me just show you. You know? Because what Satan wants to do is they want to discourage you from teaching this word. Okay, see, so this is my... Uh, new channel it's gms history and, and herbs right 
this is my uh personal channel. Let's see. Do you match your house? Right? Now I just had to upload back upload videos that I had to upload on the new channel I had to create because this one got into a strike. Now it's in a strike again, I believe, for another two weeks over a video that they took down. <laughs> Alright, over a video that they took down as soon as I put it up dealing with the MOTB. Okay, so that's also how you measure the signs, man. Okay, because brothers are pushing. It's just that you may not be able to find a brother channel. Alright, and pretty soon you're not going to be able to find any channels. You know? It's the second address, 9 and 2. Then shall to understand that it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars, which riots, protest, okay, marches of the people and the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, right? Because the how about Shemiah was shy, he ultimately had declared the end from the beginning. Let me see if I can grab that really quick. This is Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, right? The first flood, the first death, all of the captivities, us going to Egypt beginning with ships, Satan being uh, bound a thousand years, okay, 70 AD, okay? And new things do I declare, Jacob's trouble, MOTB, nuclear missiles, all right? The, uh, the second coming of Yahweh Shai, World War III, the great persecution all right before they spring forth i tell you of them okay how is prophets all right prophesying means to say before it happens all right then second Andrews 9 and 4 then shalt thou well understand that the most i spake of those things that from the days that were before thee even from the beginning man for like as all that is made in the world had it had a beginning and an end and the end is manifest, evidently, plainly seen. All right, you can clearly see that we're at the end. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder, and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Could it be possible that the beginning of sorrows is nearly upon us? No, it is upon us. Okay, without a doubt, we're living in a time when there are lots of rumors of wars. Yep, Russia and Ukraine nearly went to war this month. And if that would have happened, the U.S. would have definitely gotten involved. All right, which is prophesied that the least of the flock, all right, which is dealing with those FJs, that's going to cause them to get involved. And that could have led us directly <laughs> into World War III. Meanwhile, the U.S. and China are now closer to military conflict than they have been at any point since the end of the Korean War, which is coming out. You know, a woman did a video that there's Chinese troops in Canada. Okay. Taiwan is the main source of tension at the moment, but there are other flashpoints that could cause, that could cause war between our two nations to erupt as well in the last 48 hours. However, developments in, in Israel have taken center stage globally. Dozens of rockets were fired into Israel on Saturday night, and terror groups are warning that the worst was still to come. See through the spirit and poverty, how about Shimei was shy. This is what's going to draw, all right? This is what's going to draw the whole of Babylon out into that region, all right? The FJs and that whole situation with, with uh, Ishmael and, uh, you know, the Arabs over there.
<clears throat> this is Jeremiah chapter 50. And verse 22, a sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. Yeah, man. Okay. And we look, let's go into this word battle, you know, which is, it's pretty plain, but I'm going to see what the word says anyway. Strong's H 4421. Melchama. Melchama. I believe the Hebrew word that is Melchama, which means war, man. All right. See, battle, war, sense of fighting. Warfare. <laughs> okay. Fight. Warriors, man. Call loyal by Shimmy Shai. Sound of war is in the land. It tells you in the book of Ecclesiastes that to everything there's a time and a season. All right. A time to uh, love and a time to hate. A time of peace and a time of war. And we're not in the time for peace. We're in a time for war. Okay. We're going to jump down to the uh, end of this chapter. This is Jeremiah 50, verse 45. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, that he had taken against Babylon, which is the USA under Satan's authority, and his purposes that he had proposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. He shall make their habitation desolate with them. And how it's going to draw them out? Because the, 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 the tension is it, it, too is too much to bear. See, watch this. It says, In the last 48 hours, however, developments in Israel have taken center stage globally. Dozens of rockets were fired into Israel on Saturday night, and terror groups are warning that the worst was still to come. Two terror groups in Gaza took responsibility on Saturday for the salvos of rockets fired at Israel overnight saying the attack was in response to violent clashes in Jerusalem in recent days, and that worse was to come. It's going to get a lot worse, man. All right? Hey, how about Shemel Shah said he would have war with, gen with Amalek from generation to generation? Okay? Fatah's all Oscar martyrs brigade and the popular front for the liberation of Palestine's Abu al Ali Mustafa brigades said that they were behind the 36 rockets fired at Israel linking the attack to the unrest and around the old city. Everyone knows that a major war is going to erupt in the Middle East at some point. It's just a matter of time, right? In which World War III is not going to happen until the MOTB is fully implemented, okay? It says, switching gears, we continue to see large earthquakes shake our planet at a very alarming rate, and more volcanoes that were once very quiet continue to roar to life on sunday morning it was japan's turn to experience a major eruption okay the saku rajima volcano in southwestern japan erupted on early sunday sending a column of smoke over 2.3 kilometers above the crater the weather emergency said following the eruption at 109 a.m japan meteorological agency issued an eruption alert urging people in the cities of kagoshima and Terumizu and Kogo, Kagoshima Prefecture to protect themselves from the potential impact of volcanic activity. Okay, of those that follow my work on a regular basis know that the volcano of Japan that I really have my eye on is Mount Fuji. When it finally blows, the death toll will be off the charts. And Yahaba Shemi Shai, he did do this in history. Okay, you can look up Pompeii. All right, that ancient uh, Roman province. Okay. And what were they doing? Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. And how did the Lord reward them? He allowed Mount Vesuvius and Pompeii to erupt. And wiped out the whole fucking town. <laughs> okay, so it's nothing, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to bring volcano eruptions. He's going to bring tsunamis, hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, fires, violence. Okay. Needless to say, pestilence has been a major theme over the past year as well. We're being told that the number of new all right, cases just hit a brand new record high globally. And it appears that this demic will be with us for the foreseeable future. Yeah, it is not going away. Okay, because the job of this thing is to do away with the middle class, to destroy the economy. Okay, and, and also to beat people into submission. All right. Bound down at the altar of Jabal, 
as my man would say, okay? It says, but if we're really moving into the beginning of sorrows, we should expect even more pestilence to strike the globe, and they will be even worse than what we have experienced so far. Exactly, man. They don't keep making these movies like 28 Days Later. There's another movie with Batista coming out about zombies in Vegas. You know, there's a reports of a lady attacking an Uber driver, I believe, down there in Florida. Okay, biting his neck, and now she don't, she forget what, what she was doing. Okay, so there's all type of things being said, man, about the spike proteins with those whole jabberoos and everything, man. Okay, as for famines, the good news is that nobody in the U.S. is starving at the moment, right? Which that's a lie, which there's a lot of people out here that don't have food. Okay, you have a lot of these major companies, restaurants, supermarkets that waste pound, thousands, hundreds of pounds of food daily. You see, this is a very evil nation, man. But I did just publish an article in which I talked about how global food prices are now soaring. And this is causing hunger to rise very rapidly, okay, in impoverished areas of the planet. Coming into this year, the head of the UN's World Food Program did warn that we would see famines of biblical proportions. And unfortunately, we are well on the way to that actually happen, happening, okay. Which let's go to Second Edge 16, because the Lord said that he was going to judge people through famine, all right? And famine is starvation, lack of bread. Okay, this is Second Edge 16, in verse 17. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? Now, this is the prophet's response to the Lord's, to the visions that the Lord has given him, man. Okay? This is, this is his response, man. It's, it's going to be a time like no other, man. Okay? We can't forget the uh, the teeth of wild beasts, the newly created creatures, okay? The super soldiers, the robot dogs, all right? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. This is where we at in prophecy, man. The beginning of wars, okay? And that's going to come in the form of civil wars, different states, different so-called factions and militia groups, racial tension, Okay, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? Okay. And 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 the answer to that is, is put your faith and trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahushar to run unto that strong tower. Okay, because it is written in Isaiah that knowledge and wisdom is going to be the stability of thy times. Okay. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute. So all of this is being done for the correct, you wicked ass people, man. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor are we always mindful of this. So, they, so this is not even gonna beat them to repent, man. They're not even gonna, they're not even gonna acknowledge that, that they need to repent from this. Okay, they're still gonna be wicked until the nukes it, man. They're still going to be proud until the nukes it. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth, right? People are getting the stimulus. They're getting all type of financial loans and grants. Okay. They're getting food stamps and unemployment. Okay. But but while the victuals may seem cheap, guess what? The price of, of, of food and oil and other necessities is going to go up. Okay. That they shall thank themselves to be in good case, right? People that... I got the tab, I got my second dose, you know, I, I, I could travel, I got my 19 pass. People think that they're in a good case, man. You know, things are gonna go back to normal, no. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, the sword, all right, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. Lots of people are going to starve out here, man, okay? And Babylon is going to look like one of these third world countries, okay? And the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. So if you do escape the hunger, then you're going to die in the war, man, okay?
On top of everything else, the global persecution of Christians continued to rise, which the Christians, all right, the true Christians were the followers of Yahweh Shai, all right, in, in Jerusalem, all right, when, when Jerusalem was pretty much under um, Roman military occupation. Israel was pretty much a vassal state to the Roman Empire, and those Christians were still called black men, which is why they mistake, uh, which is why they had mistaken Paul for an Egyptian. Okay, so hey, those those so-called Christians, the true Christians, are the Israelites. Okay, the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom just released a report that documented many of the specifics of this rising trend. And one expert that worked on the report stated that Christians are being persecuted around the world at a pace not seen since the first coincidence. I'm sorry, since the first century. It's Is it just a coincidence that all these things are happening at the same time? At this point, even some of the top faith leaders in the entire nation are acknowledging that we have entered a very ominous time. For example, just consider a statement that James Dobson his name, which I never heard of the guy, but I guess he's maybe some Christian pastor. Okay. He says, though I am not a prophet, it appears to me that divine judgment has befallen our nation. Call law, Yahabashim, Yahushai. Okay. Divine judgment, man. Okay. And, and it's going to come, it's going to catch people by surprise. Actually, let me read this, and then maybe I'll close off with that scripture. It says, the evil one, Satan, who has always been able to operate within parameters permitted by the Lord and look what he used Job 1 and 12 I'm sorry 1 and 7 and also 12 which is what the sons of God appeared and Satan appeared also all right there's Satan is not out here rebelling against the Lord with one-third of the angels running the muck man no Satan is on the left hand side and he's in complete order and he operates with, within the parameters permitted by the Lord See, call law Yahabashim Yahushai. This is what our apostles and elders been teaching us, man. And now other people, you know, now these Christians are starting to to, uh, to see it. You look up the word parameter, okay? It says beside, subsidiary, all right, measure, all right, of boundary limit. Okay, so Satan has his limits, man. Let me see if I can go to this word, subsidiary. Actually, you know what? Let me look up the word measure. See that to exercise moderation to deal out or divide up by measure. All right. Curb. Let's see, to measure up to have necessary abilities. I want to get subsidiary because subsidiary says it. And when you go to the word uh, subsidiary, all right, it says to help, to aid, all right, reserve, okay, so in a nutshell, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has Satan doing his measure on the left hand side, but it's within all within the parameters of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, okay, because pursuant to Isaiah, Chapter 45 and verse 7. The Lord creates light and darkness. He makes peace and creates evil. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to read that again. Though I'm not a prophet, it appears to me that divine judgment has been fallen our nation. The evil one, Satan, who has always been able to operate within the parameters of the Lord. It gives you the scripture, Job 1 and 7. Also verse 12, but also Job the second chapter. Appears to be unleashing his assault on our culture, 
with an even greater ferocity. He is creating chaos in our cities and schools and is stalking the halls of government. It is as though, because we have replaced the truth with a lie, the Most High has given us over to a reprobate mind. Okay? Why do I draw such a conclusion? It's because our nation is divided into warring camps with violence and pestilence plaguing the land. 62 million babies have been murdered in cold blood, which is what? I'm not even going to say it. You know it. And hundreds of millions of additional federal dollars have been allocated to expand the unborn holocaust and institutions of marriage and family are under siege our birthright is failing our birth rate excuse me and our children are being taught hate and perversion in our government schools <laughs> hey man the about shimmy is getting ready to turn this place inside out okay this is the book of luke chapter 21 you should rejoice at this man you should be rejoicing this is the book of Luke 21 and verse 27. And, uh, and and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud, which is Yahweh Shai coming back in a chariot or a so-called UFO, okay, with great power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption. Joy and I, let's get that word redemption, okay? So you go into this word re redemption. Strong's G, 629. Apalutrosis. Apalutrosis. Okay. And what does that mean? Deliverance. All right. A releasing affected by a payment of ransom. And what was that ransom? Yahweh Shai being that sacrificial lamb by the blood of the lamb. Deliverance. Okay. Christian salvation. Redemption. Okay. But hey, only the Israelites starting with the elect. Of the nation of Israel. So with all these things happening on the earth, we're supposed to look, look up and, and expect the, and, and, and just know that the deliverance is near because these are signs of the great deliverance. Okay. I'm going to jump down to verse 35. For as a snare, all right, shall it come upon all of them that dwell upon the whole face of the whole earth. And what's a snare? A trap, a gin. Okay. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. That's right. Meditate in prayer, man. Pray to how about Shemiah was shy while you're laying in your bed, before you get in your bed, before you go to sleep, on your drive to work, on your drive home, on your walk, while you work. Just pray, send up those prayers to how about Shemiah was shy, man. Okay? The Lord answers prayers. Prayer is a very powerful weapon. Okay? And in that day, and in and in the day he was teaching, okay, that, that's pretty much the point right there. Okay, so I'm going to get one more scripture. Yeah, they're trying to muzzle the, the word, but they're not, it's not going to, it's, gonna, it's not going to work, man. This is Matthew 4 and, uh, let's see. Yeah, 4 and 17. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Wakasayim, Wabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings to all the hopeful elect. I pray that this has been edifying. Shalom.